Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can put a debug point and then save that location and save it as a file and use it in another system. So can you imagine what I'm talking about? So first let me show how we'll do this. We are going to have build one in transaction code and here I'll put a slash h and I'll execute. Okay, now here I will put a breakpoint. Okay, so the breakpoint I will put is on suppose I want to put a breakpoint at loop. Okay, so I put a breakpoint here. Now, once I put the breakpoint, it will stop. It already stopped here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll go to debug debug session and I'll say save it okay I'll click on save make sure you check all these things okay and what we'll do is we'll select file okay and again once we select the file this get unchecked we'll check all these things we will put test suppose uh, three and then I'll give a file name okay this is the file name okay and I'll save it once I click on this I'll click on the green arrow okay and since I have already created something it's asking whether it will overwrite now this has been done saved successfully now what I'm going to do is imagine now I'll just log out completely okay. so what I'm going to do here I'll just say exit and now I'll just log out so once I have logged out of this system now I can again I'll log in the moment I log in here here you can see I'm going to give the password and this is useful when lots of times you know you raise a ticket with OSS and they you, you check in your system where is the problem and you can give this file to another person and they can check it in their system so now I'll go to FBL1 in transaction code okay I'll just put the same thing 1710 and this was parked items just to make life easier now what we are going to do is we'll click on slash H okay and we'll execute once I click on execute here, I'll select debugger, debugger session, load, and I will select files. I'll go here and I'll look for that file. This is the file. I do this and now I'll click on the green arrow and if you notice i didn't put any debugger nothing it's it's loading it takes some time so now you can see it has come at loop and it stops so this is very very useful so imagine you have cases where you want to uh, stop you want to keep this debugger i remember i used to keep screenshots where is the thing i am going to do uh, where i have kept the debugger and do it again Rather than doing that, you can just save the debugger and put it in a file and you can use it anywhere and everywhere. This is the smartness of SAP ABAP.